So we're nearly at the end of the month, so we're starting now to look at how can we support specific sensory needs. So we've already gone through what a sensory processing difficulty is, how we can recognise needs, and now we're looking at how we can support specific senses, okay? So tactile sense, that's what we're going to start with. So if I'm hypertactile and receiving lots and lots of tactile information, I want to try and reduce that. So one of the best ways that you can try and reduce it is by um, using something weighted. Okay, so by using something weighted, you're putting pressure on their body so they're being able to get the feedback that they need to from their proprioceptive sense, so the awareness of their body. One thing when someone's hypertactile, um, it can be difficult for them to be aware of their body and what they're doing. Okay, so their way of responding to the feedback that they're getting on their skin might be dulled down by the other senses. Okay, so use something weighted or deep pressure. For someone who's hypo, so you're trying to stimulate that tactile sense, there's loads of great things you can do. To begin with, you can um, try out lots of different fiddle toys, so there's um, various things like this that you can twiddle and play with, that one's a wooden one. You might find something squidgy and soft, it also makes a sound, so um, you need to try and recognise exactly what it is, what textures it is that re um, a person that you're supporting really enjoys, okay, so this is quite soft and squidgy. You can find coarse things, so this is a fabric but it's um, sparkly and quite rough, so it's quite nice. And then if you rub it on your skin you can get that um, rough feeling, so that's great for lots and lots of tactile stimulation. Another way to give tactile stimulation is um, through vibration. So one very affordable way of doing it is through these um, toothbrushes now, which are vibrating toothbrushes, so electric toothbrushes. But they've just got a battery inside, so you can just press it, it starts to vibrate. You can either use the brushes itself, or what I tend to do is I tend to pop it in a sock and then you can put it wherever. So you can rub it down, down your arms or next to your jaw, okay? really really good for um, teeth grinders so just pop it on the outside of their jaw and they're going to be getting lots and lots of tactile stimulation okay that's really really good for um, grinders okay so that's tactile stimulation how you can support tactile sensory needs